Turning now to allegations of sexual misconduct in the military. One of the most senior women in the Canadian Forces spoke to Global News about her personal experiences and why she's walking away. In part two of our exclusive interview, Lieutenant Colonel Eleanor Taylor talks about the harm associated with reporting the abuse and why it's so important to end the silence. Here's our Ottawa Bureau Chief, Mercedes Stevenson. Lieutenant Colonel Eleanor Taylor is a warrior. She willingly signed up to take on threats to Canada. But the silent, insidious enemy within, she didn't expect. Now she is speaking out about what she believes happens to most women in the Canadian Forces and why women are afraid to break rank and report. The consequences of being alienated by the group are greater than the consequences, in some cases, of whatever inappropriate sexual behaviour we are dealing with. And so we choose to manage the inappropriate behaviour and never report. For the first time, Taylor is revealing her own experiences to highlight the problems in the system and encourage other women to speak. I've told my story many times, but I have never shared the fact that I, I too have struggled with this behaviour because in so doing, I feel that I risk the reputation of the team and risk alienating myself from the team. The, the potential pain of, of being ostracized in that way is almost seen to be worse than the pain of dealing with the sexual misconduct or the sexual violence. I had instances where I experienced uh, either highly, sexual, highly inappropriate sexual behavior. Um, you know, an example started during my training when my very earliest training where we had an instructor who, was, who had a relationship with one of the 17-year-old students, uh, where we had uh, an instructor who would get drunk and, and make inappropriate advances. I have had an experience where uh, somebody that was a significantly higher rank than me earlier in my career uh, insisted that I go to his room with him and when I arrived there, he sat on the bed and turned on pornography. And in my case, in that case, I chose not to report because I knew that by reporting, I would bring myself far greater harm uh, that was not worth the cost. Taylor says the culture in the military has to change. Otherwise, women like her will continue to leave. I think it has a significant impact on the longevity of uh, women and victims who are not women in uniform uh, and be, because you can take this behavior and deal with it for a few years without recognizing the cost that it has on your uh, the cost that it has on you personally. Lieutenant Colonel Taylor is encouraging other women to speak. She believes that now is the chance for change in the institution that she loves so much she was willing to give her life and her career for. Mercedes Stevenson, Global News, Ottawa.